My husband and I live in a rural area, and so we often see deer and even moose in the neighborhood. That is a real problem if you're an avid gardener. So a couple of years ago, we put up a deer fence, and that has worked really great, but there's two problems. We have two arbor gates like this, and as you can see, the opening in the gate is just large enough to where a deer could leap over if they want it. A couple of years ago, a friend of mine gave me a great tip, which is to hang a wind chimes or something in the opening, and that movement actually startles deer, and it works great during the garden season for keeping them out. However, in the fall and the winter months, they can be stressed just enough to where they're willing to do anything to jump on through and find things to eat. So I want to show you what I've done to keep them out during the colder months of the year. To block the entrance to the gate, I took a leftover piece of black plastic deer fencing and cut it just a little bit narrower than the width of the arbor. I used two pieces of metal conduit that are a few inches longer than the width of the arbor. Then I attached the deer fencing to each piece of conduit using black plastic zip ties. Now it's ready to use. I fit the unit into the arbor, wedging the conduit within the frame of the arbor so it can't be pushed through the opening. I only have to use it during the late fall and winter months, and it's pretty simple to remove should I need to go through a garden gate, although I have other ways of getting into the garden, so it's really not an issue. So this is what it looks like hanging up. And as you can see, it does make a solid barrier that deer and moose cannot push through, especially during the time of year when they're being most persistent about trying to get into your garden. If you have a similar problem in your garden, you might give something like this a try. Happy gardening. Oh, and just as an addendum, right after filming this segment, my husband discovered moose tracks in both the front yard and the backyard so it's a good thing I blocked the two gates today. You just can't be too careful.